Oxford comma is a comma that's used before a conjunction when listing a series of things. But why is Oxford comma? Today we find out. Oxford comma was invented in the year 1601 by, you guessed it, the Earl of Oxford, otherwise known as Edward de Vere. Earl of Oxford was writing plays around this time, using the pseudonym William Shakespeare. However, he wanted a way to prove his authorship, since a lot of people, such as Francis Bacon, Queen Elizabeth, and a Glover's son called William Shakespeare, were also claiming authorship. After communing psychically with the spirit of an unborn Isaac Newton, De Vere devised Oxford comma, which he could put into plays like The Tempest to prove his authorship, and point to the absence of in plays like Titus Andronicus to prove his not-authorship. However, his assistant leaked this to the press, so guys like John Ford began using it in their plays in order to trick people into thinking their plays were also written by Shakespeare. Soon, just about everyone was using Oxford comma in an attempt to make their work seem more elevated and high-minded, but everything changed when the Puritans attacked. They were demanding an end to Oxford comma, seeing it as unnecessary flourish and therefore blasphemous against our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This dispute would result in the English Civil War, where Oxford Comma supporting Charles I was beheaded by the Puritans. The Puritan leader, Oliver Cromwell, then went to the Birmingham plant where Oxford Commas were produced and told them to shut it down. However, the Puritans then sought to eliminate all punctuation, resulting in the people turning against them and Charles II taking power. As part of his plan to reunite the country, Charles announced Oxford Comma remained banned, and many thought that would be the end of it. However, in America, Oxford Comma remained popular as intellectuals there wanted to show they were on par with those in Britannia. At first, the Britannians didn't pay any attention to this, but when George III tried to force the colonists to stop using the comma, an event called the Revolutionary War broke out, and the colonists refused to give up Oxford Comma, even going so far as to use it in their Declaration of Independence, ensuring the Oxford Comma would join the Eagle Apple Pie and the Super Bowl as a symbol of American independence and freedom. Today, the only place that still uses Oxford comma outside of America is Oxford University, having its usage written into its charter for the next 7,000 years. Other former British territories like Canada maintained opposition to Oxford comma, while countries like Australia don't give a crap. Nowadays, Oxford comma is mainly used as a way for English programs to discover undesirables and eliminate them post hey and that's where we are today. Do you use Oxford comma, or do you oppose its usage and demand the death of all who do? Be sure to let us know in the comments and give this video a like if you feel you learned good. Bye! <laughs>